the span of three movies, the John Wick films have racked up a body count of nearly 300. And to do that, you need guns. Lots of guns. Meet Terran Butler. He's a world champion competitive shooter. He's also the owner of Terran Tactical. They're responsible for teaching some of Hollywood's top action stars how to handle firearms for film and television. Today, for the first time ever, I'll be shooting a pistol, a shotgun, and an assault rifle just to see how Keanu learned to look like an expert marksman for the big screen. What's the worst that could happen? Could you imagine if we were doing this with loaded guns? I would have shot all my feet off. First, the stars of John Wick have to learn some basics before they can start shooting like international assassins. So we have this thing called a 180 degree line. So when you're on the shooter on the firing line, think of it like there's a force field pulling your muzzle downrange. Um, never bring the muzzle back past the 180 degree line. Finger off the trigger unless you're shooting. And always treat every gun as if though it's loaded. I'm gonna teach you how to check to make sure that they're not. After getting a feel for the pistol, it was time for the real deal. So we've got the three primary pistols of John Wick 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. This is a gun you were training with, with Jade. The gun that you see Keanu training with here on the range with a lot. In John Wick 3, Cherie suggests he goes, John, since you've been gone, something new has come out. The 2011 Combat Master, uh -huh. loaded in 9mm Major, 125 grain bullet major business. So both guns shoot 9mm. Yeah. The difference is, is this gun here can shoot 9mm major. This is a 9mm major. It's a lot taller because it's got a lot more powder in it. The only difference is more powder. So regular 9mm on the left, 9 major on the right. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. This gun here is Halle Berry's Glock 19 from John Wick 3. So when the shootout takes place, she grabs this gun off one of the bad guys. She enjoyed the, the hard work and training. She had three broken ribs through most of the training here. So she wasn't at her top. And same with Keanu, getting beat up on the horses. But she just got really good at it. And I'd say, hands down, she's the best female weapons handler in Hollywood. Taryn has Hollywood's action star start with a small firearm and a simple combo. Let's do something fun and fast first. OK. First off, no surfing. You're laid back oh, okay. with Jess Piccoli. OK, start on this guy, the easiest guy in the world. I'm going to say, shooter ready, stand by. Uh -huh. When you hear the beep, you're going to come up. Two to the body, one to the head. It's called the Mozambique. Two to the body, one to the head. Yeah. Shooter ready, stand by. OK, I, uh, did I get him? You got him in the head. It counts. Pop the safety on when you're done. Finger off the trigger. OK, that's 4.41. Let's destroy that time. Just do one more clean one, no box office fiascos. Shooter ready, stand by. Good. Okay, that was 163. Hey, all right. We went from 441 to 163 in a couple rounds. Booyah, it's easy. The next level is rifle handling. Placement is key, as is learning how to smoothly replace your ammo. I need something robust, precise. Robust, precise. AR-15. 11.5 inch, compensated with an iron bonded bolt carrier. All right, so it's right here. Out far. Okay. okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Drop. Yep, you're good. Keep it going. As I'm going. Watch it go in. Button. Paddle. What, what button? It's this paddle right there. Oh, why do I? Oh, so Jesus. Drop the bolt. Yeah. Drop the bolt and then you're back on. Gotcha. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no, I'm out. Feed button. Good. We're learning how to manipulate our weapons without ammunition in them, so we know all of the functions. Could you imagine if we were doing this with loaded guns? I would have shot all my feet off. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the true test was a more complicated combo, one similar to the kind Keanu and Halen had to master before hitting the set. The director, Chad Stahelski, he wanted everything. He wanted three-gun loading. He wanted all kinds of ways to load the shotgun, all kinds of pistol reloads, transitions, rifle, shotgun, pistol, everything. Boom, boom, boom. Uh -huh. Boom, 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 ding. Boom, 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 boom. The car guys, boom, boom, and the guy below, ding. That's it. All right, this might take a while. You could do it, Mr. Wicker. <laughs> Shooter ready, stand by. Master. Good. All right. 
Safety on? Yes, sir. Good, 1367. A lot better than 27 seconds. <laughs> you wanna do it again? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Are you sure you're not bored yet? Yeah, this is awesome. Let me uh, let me fix that one place that's not in your way this time. <laughs> it's funny, he's so good with guns, he's just like, let me move that for you, but bam <laughs> Now, it was Terrence's turn. Shooter ready, stand by. <laughs> five, five point one seven. That's no, ridiculous. <laughs> Last but not least, it was time to try out a John Wick fan favorite. May I suggest the Benelli M4? An Italian classic. In John Wick Three, by far the coolest part was the quad loading with the shotgun. That's that's something no movie would ever have done that. Quad loading is a very difficult thing to learn, and only a few people can do it really good. So we got that going. At, towards the end, he did amazing. Is this thing gonna like have a real big kick that's gonna hurt? No, there's no recoil at all on this one. Now, that guy, that little guy. We need to. Oh, ah, think about it. Sequel. Oh, match saver. Ah, he set me up. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's what that last one was for. Yeah, the match saver. Awesome. Good job. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. How come those guys didn't fall down? They did, but they came back up. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. I'll finish them off. All right. I love this habit mm -hmm. you have of being like, let me take care of that thing. <laughs> and you're walking around the house like, let me get the lights. Kapow. Pretty much. <laughs>